Hey, what's going on? It's Arava here, and welcome back to a brand new video today, and potentially the start of a brand new series today, because Fantasy Formula 1 has launched today from the official F1 website, and they've launched an official F1 game, or web game, of uh, Fantasy, basically. So if, if you know other sports, like football, for, uh, for example, they have Fantasy kind of games you can play, and it's a really big deal. A lot of people really get into them, and I think it's going to be a really fun thing to set up a league of your own, because you can set up a league, I believe, and invite you guys to participate in it. So this can be a straight involvement with with you guys where you pick it looks like five drivers in one team and there's definitely a, a kind of budget kind of limit there that's the whole point and then you kind of predict uh, what you think those drivers will do in terms of the positions I guess or you just pick the driver and see how well they do I uh, will see exactly we'll read through the rules because I haven't read through them yet uh, but you can I believe set up your own league so I want to I want to set up a league and the idea for this series will be that every single race that I basically look through my league standings and compare how I've done you know we'll, we'll first of all kind of see how I've done in terms of my predictions uh, before and after and then we'll We'll see how you guys have done once you've kind of entered the league. Uh, I'll kind of post the details at the end of this video and in the description and in the comments below. And we'll see how you guys do. And that's a really great chance for you guys to get involved actively in a series like this. You know, if you guys, if a bunch of you guys are doing really, really well, obviously you'll be at the top of the leaderboards. And so you'll kind of get featured in the video, basically, with your names right there on screen. So I think it's going to be quite a fun thing. Hopefully you guys are kind of liking that idea. If you do, be sure to hit that like button to let me know you want to kind of see that kind of idea come into fruition. You want to see videos like that based off the Fantasy Formula 1 game so here we go fantasy formula one is here play now so uh, following the announcement of Play On is the official uh, daily fantasy partner of Formula 1. Fans can now enjoy two Formula 1 fantasy games. So there's like a, a traditional one and then there's a, a daily shorter one. So at the moment we're going to do the traditional uh, the, the, the traditional fantasy game which is each race weekend but there's a kind of smaller version I guess uh, kind of for daily play which is kind of odd. We might get to that later but for now we're going to do that. So how to play. Choose five drivers, one constructor stay within your budget of 100 million and your team will score points during each race and qualifying session. At each race, you'll have to nominate one of your drivers to receive the turbo boost and double their points all. So that's exactly and no different to if you were to pick your captain in the English Premier League uh, fantasy game. You pick your captain, they get a boost of points or double points or whatever it is. Um, same thing here, we pick a turbo boost, so obviously tailored to F1, a turbo boost and they get double their points all. But You'll need to balance risk against rewards because as well as bonuses on offer, there are penalties at stake. Each driver wants to beat their teammate and you'll get extra points if they do. And if your driver can work their way up through the field, there are points to be gained for that too. So plenty of different kind of strategies on play in terms of how your drivers could gain points. Um, and there you go, join a league. So that's the exact thing I want to do. Join a league, you can play against your friends, but also you can equally join a league and play against fellow viewers or subscribers of mine. So I'm going to set up a league. And like I said, at the end of the video, I'll put the details, uh, I'll say the details out loud and also in the description and the comments below, I'll kind of pin a comment and you can kind of go to that if you're on mobile and you can't see the description too well. So you can join the league there. Um, it's free to sign up. All you have to do is create an account on Formula One's website with your email and then create a password, but that's completely free. And then you can join the game for free as well. So really good way to guys uh, get involved, but pretty much that's it. That's all the waffle. So let's get into just firstly, I, wanna, I think there's a separate rules page just to see if there's any other rules we might have missed. And then we'll get into choosing my driver roster. All right, so here we go. F1 Fantasy, how to play. Sign up for free and get started. So number one, pick your team. So a little example, Verstappen, Vettel, and Hamilton is uh, three out of the five, but there you go. Five drivers, one constructors, budget of one, uh, 100 million. Uh, step number two, watch live. Obviously, I'm assuming a lot of us, or all of us do that anyway, watching the races live or watching it at some point on the weekend if you don't have it live in your territory. But obviously, this is kind of good for, I really I really do enjoy that the fact they've launched this because I used to play something like this back in 2013 or 2012. There used to be, I think it was the BP Castrol Edge um, predictor. And that used to be a big thing on F1 Twitter. Uh, a lot of us on F1 Twitter used to play that a lot and compare each other. And we used to join each other's leagues and see how we do uh, back in the day. It was, it was really quite fun, but this is going to be even more fun for me I think now uh, in Formula 1 because obviously if you've been with the channel for a while now um, you know that uh, my favourite driver was, uh, was uh, Jensen Button and obviously he's not an F1 anymore so I don't really have a favourite you know I have a couple of favourites in terms of kind of soft spots for them in terms of you know I, I like to see them do well but I'll never really truly ever think support a driver like I did with Jensen Button you know kind of uh, constantly following what he's doing in qualifying and the race but this way now my five drivers I'll be very invested in to see how they're doing 
doing because I want them to do well. And also the team as well, the team I choose, I want them to do well. So uh, it's going to be a really kind of nice layer added onto the races rather than just kind of hoping for absolute carnage. And the same thing for you guys, maybe, obviously. And obviously, if you've got a favorite driver already, that's still an F1. You might want to definitely pick him uh, to do well. But uh, uh, step number three, we can win exclusive prizes. So in terms of joining my league, I don't at the moment because it's early days. I want to see the response from you guys in terms of joining the league and how many people are continuously going to participate. But maybe down the line in the next few months, if I can see there's a, a good chunk of you guys still participating every single race weekend for it, maybe I can try and figure out uh, maybe if the, I can offer a prize of my own maybe for winning my league. But on the actual, you know, separate side with the actual official game on the website, you can win prizes from F1 and Liberty Media themselves. Exclusive offer F1 prizes to be announced. Not too sure what that means. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if you win the thing globally at the very end of the season, maybe that could be like Grand Prix tickets. That'd be pretty sweet. I'm guessing smaller prizes uh, for every race weekend could be like F1 merch that are like signed by the drivers, something like that, or just F1 merch in general. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I mean, down the line, if if this thing is kind of quite good and a lot of you guys are participating, I can definitely try and look into offering my own kind of prize in terms of giving one of you guys uh, the, like a top three prize for one, two, and three in the little league we're going to create. But that's it. Let's go to play now and let's pick my roster um and see what i go with right pick your team select five drivers and one constructors and stay within your budget of 100 million this is going to be interesting obviously the entire grid let's go through and actually show you guys um if you're curious the different prices for each of these drivers so i'm going to do this by price uh so we're going to go from lowest to highest so the lowest price is uh charles leclerc obviously a debutante in this uh this is formula one championship 4.5 million mark zerickson 5.5 seems fair enough roman grosje on them He's a little bit lower than I thought because he's been he's been in F1 for a while, but I guess uh, uh, the prices will vary on how they do. I, I hope they do because that's exactly how the uh, English Premier League fantasy game um, is run, that the players go up and down in price. So sometimes you can pick up a driver for cheap at the start of the season, and if you keep them on, or should I say footballer, in the case of my example, you pick them up for your roster, and down the line they may become more expensive, but since you pick them earlier on, that you, you've got them on the cheap there. So Grosjean 6.5 at the moment, Hartley 6.5, Magnussen 7.5, Sorokin, same thing, Gasly are the same. Then you go to 8 million for Van Dorn, 8.5 for Stroll. So these are all obviously the midfield drivers, Sainz 9.5. Then you go up to Ocon, 11.3. Then interestingly enough, Fernando Alonso, 11.5. Interesting. So obviously, unlike football, it's a little bit tricky because the driver's value also kind of depends on, honestly, the car they're driving. So Alonso, you would think, would be right up there in the top three in terms of price, in terms of as a driver. But remember, he's in the McLaren, which, you know, it hasn't, you know, really fully been tested this season so far. And obviously, based off the past, you never know. So uh, that's why Alonso's down here in kind of midway stage, 11.5 minutes. That makes sense. It's it, Unfortunately, you can't get the exact same thing as it is in the kind of football fantasy game. Uh, Sergio Perez, 12 million. Then Hulkenberg, 12. So, interesting. Carlo Sainz, a lot cheaper than, than Hulkenberg. Obviously, makes sense right now so far. Verstappen, 19.7. And Ricardo's 20.5. So, so that'll be a little bit of debate between any Red Bull fans or Verstappen and Ricardo fans on uh, who should be the number one there in terms of uh, pricing. Raikkonen, 20 million on the dot. Valtteri Bottas, 25.3. Sebastian Vettel, 28.0. And then obviously the reigning world champion, 29.8. But honestly, at the moment... I wouldn't be picking Hamilton at the moment because the Merc is looking a little bit iffy. And also Bottas has looked a lot more comfortable in the Merc in the last two races. So we'll see. We'll see. But those are but those are the drivers. Let's move to the constructors and also see what we're saying here. So Merc, obviously, 30 million. Ferrari, the next up, 27.5. So a uh, reasonable leap, but a bit even bigger leap is then Red Bull. That's a leap of 7.5 million compared to uh, only 2.5 there for Ferrari to Merc, Ferrari to Red Bull. That's a big leap. So I have a feeling already that I might be going towards Red Bull, depending on the drivers I pick, because that's, you know, obviously Red Bull won the last race. And they're kind of that great midfield team in terms of, not well, not midfield team, but... They're great, that great midway stage of they're not uber expensive, like right at the top there, but you know on their day they could get you a significant amount of points there. But obviously, that's the beauty. You can change this per race, I believe. I think it should be like that if it's set up like the football game. So um, it'll be a case of, you know, next race up is Azerbaijan. Might not pick Red Bull. Might want to pick Ferrari or Mercedes or you know, another midfield team with a Mercedes engine potentially based on that. But Force India, 10.5. At the moment, looks like this is based off maybe last season because Williams is 9, 9 million. 
Renault's 9.7, so it's not in complete order here, actually. Uh, Toros is 7.8 million, Haas 5.5, McLaren 9.5, and then Sauber 5 million. So there you go. And then the race details over here. We've got Formula 1 2018 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Obviously, points are scored on qualifying the race. Practice doesn't matter, but obviously they want to push the race, obviously, even more. But track map there, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku, nice, lovely, long straight. So... Interesting. How am I going to play this for the long straights? I want to go for Mercedes engine cars, but the Ferraris are going to be pretty good as well. And you never know. Baku being Baku, we get a race like last year. This could be a big, big points haul for anyone if they pick a wild card. Right, so the first driver I'm going to go for... Um, you know, he's been steadily sort of improving. He's not completely comfortable with his car yet, but I'm going to pick my man, Carlos Sainz. You know, I've got a soft spot with him for sure. And I think next race could be the one where he finally cracks the back of that Renault and actually does well. So I'm going to pick him as my first driver uh, in my roster here. Um, I'm going to go for something expensive now. I think Vettel's going to uh, gonna bounce back from China. I think he's going to do well. So I'm going to pick Vettel as well. So already down to 62.5 million. I am now going to pick a team instead. I'm going to see. I want to pick Red Bull, but I just don't see them doing spectacularly well just due to the engine power difference. But also China, you've got to think down the back straight, they weren't too bad. If they pick a bold, aggressive strategy, they could do well. Um, I'll pick Red Bull for now. I might come back to it depending on my driver choices now. So this gets interesting because we're already down to less than our, our, our half the budget. We're on 42.5 million. So now, who do I choose? I'm going to go for... Roman Grosjean, maybe? Because he's had a couple of bad... He's had two bad races where he's just not been there. Obviously got caught up in traffic, had damage at Bahrain, brake issues or whatever it was at China. Could I see him bounce back at Azerbaijan? Perhaps, but if he has brake issues again, that's too bad. And Magnussen's only 1 million more, so... And K-Mag's been pretty damn consistent so far. So I'd say K-Mag, you know, he's actually one of the highest drivers in the power rankings so far. We've got 35.0 point, uh, uh, million left to spend. Um, I would say Fernando Alonso has got to be a best bet because that's a really, you know, great driver on the cheap in terms of Alonso. If he lucks in, you know he's going to push so, so hard to get up the order. But also if he gets lucky again like he did with China, you know, great three-man overtake, but then cars dropping out like Bahrain as well, he could get right up there at Baku. So... 11.5, and we've got 23.5 to spend, and that's going to leave us with Valtteri Bottas, and that is perfect, because Bottas, so far, you know, he had the measure over Hamilton all weekend in China, you cannot argue that, in Tobacco, you know, Hamilton, I think he'll bounce back, but Bottas has got a decent chance, and you've got to say, anyway, the Mercedes shouldn't finish lower than P6, so Bottas got to do pretty well in that top fight, but at the same time, I could also pick one of the Red Bull cars, because I picked Red Bull as the constructors, so Ricardo's on a roll, Ricardo pulled off a three-man overtake at Baku, I'll go with Ricardo. I'll go with Ricardo. I'm feeling a bit feisty there. So we've got 3 million to play with, uh, but I've got no other driver I can really pick in terms of 3 million. I guess maybe I could technically uh, 9.5 for Hulkenberg, uh, for, uh, for Carlos Sainz and Hulkenberg's only... Oh, actually, no, I could do Hulkenberg. Ah, uh, I would see my soft spot wants to take the gamble on 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 science, but my head's saying Hulkenberg. He's been super consistent. He's had so many P7s in qualifying. He might do that again, and then from there, he could finish in P7. That would be solid, and I think probably he has a better chance of beating his teammate, because remember, it's all about beating teammates as well. Hulkmerg, probably yes. Vettel, yeah, Kimi's kind of had his days in qualifying. He's pushed him hard, and he might get lucky, and Raikkonen did obviously beat him last time, but I'd bag Vettel to maybe beat him this time. K-Mag, definitely, I think. Alonso, definitely, I think. And Ricardo, maybe not, but I think Ricardo's going to have good momentum, so I'm going to pick him for that, and then Red Bull... I think right now, Red Bull are well poised to be the team I want to pick for that for that next race there. So that's going to be that. I've got 0 0.5 million to, uh, to spare, but obviously I can't spend that on anything else. So I'm going to save my team, and that is my roster for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Select a turbo driver. I forgot about that. Okay, activate a turbo driver. Um, Choose a turbo driver. Apparently, I cannot pick Sebastian Vettel and uh, Dan Ricciardo, apparently. It won't let me pick them. They're greyed out. So that's a little bit weird. So maybe it's kind of like, uh, is there a bit of info? Boosted driver will score double points. You cannot select a driver with a price higher than 90 million. Ah, okay, that's clever. That's clever. The turbo driver has to be someone that you think will pull off a madness in the race. That's okay. That's I like that. I like that. I like that uh, rule. So who do I think out of those three is going to pull madness? Well, uh, it's picked Alonso here. I would probably have to go for Alonso. I mean, Hulkenberg did beat him last race. 
But Baku being so crazy, you know, it could it could be a really crazy Grand Prix. I think Alonso could be well poised to pull off a madness. And, you know, he's pulled off some madnesses already this season. But I think he's maybe ready to pull off that next step level craziness. And Hulkenberg's already had that luck in China. So I'm going to go Alonso. I'll go Alonso as my turbo driver. And then wildcard is, wildcard can be used once per season. Only once. Only once. So I'm not going to pick that. Turbo driver activated. Save team. Uh, team name, I'm just going to go for Arava Racing. Um, select your favorite constructor. I'm going to go, well, okay, I don't actually have a, f a favorite constructor. I picked Red Bull, so I may as well go with Red Bull, I guess. I mean, I have a, I have a, t a soft spot in a meme way for Toro Rosso, so I'll pick Toro Rosso, just for the bands. Toro Rosso, Honda, Honda in, come on, Monda Hondas, Gasly in as well. Confirm that. There you go. Save your team. Right, time to create the league now and give you guys the, uh, kind of give you guys the details. Here we go. Create league. Let's do this thing. So I'm going to call the league Arrow for YouTube League. It's going to be a public league, so any of you guys can join. That is going to be the invite code. The invite code is going to be 9C52EF. So if you search up Arrow for YouTube League, the invite code you have to type in is 9C52EF. Or I think you should just be able to join it like that, maybe. Maybe this is just for a code if I need to tweet out or anything like that. I will tweet this out, post on Instagram as well. Um, so you can get me followed on there, by the way. I talk about F1 on the race weekends, obviously. So if you're not already followed on there, good place to do so. And also on Twitter is the best place probably we can probably discuss directly. The fantasy picks, you guys can let me know maybe your thoughts of why you've chosen who. Or you can take a picture and a screenshot of your roster and send that to me on Twitter. And we can talk about it straight away. But then obviously in the video, I'll just be going through and seeing the leaderboards. But that is the invite code. I don't know if you need that exactly, but that's the code anyway on screen. 9C52EF. So at the moment you get default entered into the Global League, the GB League, and also a Torosso League. So any Torosso drivers will also be in a league with me there. But there is the Arava YouTube League there. Arava Racing, only not only one, but you can see here, nice leaderboard. So basically every single race weekend, basically after the race week, weekend's over, I could be looking through. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you think I should basically do a small video? I, I, you know what? I'm going to decide right now. In the moment, I decide so what I'm going to do is I'll do a small video on Thursday or Friday. Actually, Friday will probably be easier because I think the cutoff period surely will be just after FB3, I think, of picking your roster for that for that race weekend. So what I'll do is I'll make a small video on Friday evening and show you guys my picks. And then I'll look through the leaderboard and kind of see who's there at the moment. And then after the race weekend on the Sunday, probably uh, in the evening, I will then go through, see how I did and see how you guys did. So I think that'll be a good way to do this series. And, and I hope this will be a really fun series to get you guys directly involved, like the most involved you've ever been in a series of mine, uh, especially if those of you who maybe not don't have me on social media, don't interact with me too much away from maybe commenting on the video. This way you can get really involved and kind of, you know, have a little bit of competition with me in this leaderboard. And like I said, down the line, if... A lot of you guys are participating and still participating by the time we get towards the final race of the season. I definitely will look into potentially being able to do my own prize giveaway of the top three maybe in this league of my of, of mine, uh, our of YouTube league. So look out for that. But uh, yeah, I think that is literally going to be the it is going to be it. There's daily fantasy. Uh, I don't know what that really entails. Uh, official daily fantasy partner of Formula One. And that's on the mobile. Okay, so so you can play like on the go, I guess, uh, in a different style. That's a little bit weird. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with the, uh, the traditional one for the actual series itself. I might look into that personally, uh, maybe for on the go, just for kind of a little bit of fun on the side. But that has been the video, guys. So if you have enjoyed the concept of the of the new video series and you do like this, then hit that like button to let me know that yeah you want to see more of this and you do want to see this series go ahead. And remember, again, join Arava YouTube League. There was that invite code there. I'll I'll put that into the description and in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure it's a public league now. So go ahead, join Arava YouTube League, and you'll be involved in this every single race uh, weekend uh, new series of F1 Fantasy. Really looking forward to it, guys. And uh, may the uh, best man or woman win. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. If you are new around here, do get subscribed to keep up with this if you do want to enter and get subscribed for more weekly Formula 1 content here. I've been out of a home today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.